Welcome to Roth Academy. My name is Steven. I'm here to paint a custom base in Little Daddy Roth products. The base body in this story comes from Mark T. Calway. Mark's a bass player, he's a photographer, and he's a captain of a yacht. <laughs> Little Daddy Roth set us up. We went out on his yacht, had a banging time, and there was a bass body sitting there. I said, hey, Mark, you mind if I paint your bass body? He says, sure. So we take the body and we're gonna get going. So let's go paint this thing. All right, this bass body was done in a two-part catalyzed primer. For those of you that are using aerosol cans, rattle bombs, we have primer in rattle bomb cans. This product works out really well. It does not have a very hot solvent in it and it won't bite into your work. The base coat is going to be custard pie base. Our base coats are available in a multiple different colors, pints, quarts, and gallons, and of course rattle bomb can too. Okay, we'll get this mixed up and then we'll start spraying out the body in custard pie base coat. Our spray booth's been tied up for a week, so we're just going to do this backyard style outside. Get her based out. We're going to do a combination of flake, candy, and pearl in intercoat clear. Both the metal flake and the pearl are available in all different sizes and shapes. There's glass pearls, chameleon pearls, powdered pearls, flake in all different sizes. Check out RothMetalFlake.com. We're adding a gold pearl to intercoat clear. Um, this is going to be our first additive to this mix. We're using a inner coat clear to put down the flake and whatever else we throw in. This is uh, Roth's RI200 intercoat clear. The next step would be our Grand Theft Gold metal flake. So we're going to pour a bunch of flake in here and we're going to judge by what the stick looks like for our coverage. Um, after mixing it up, we'll pull the stick out take a look at the stick and the amount of flake that's on that stick gives us an idea how much flake we'll be putting out on the base body. So you can see that looks like a pretty good amount. Next step is to use shades dyes. These are dyes in small bottles. They do 24, 28 ounces of clear or intercoat clear and we're going to add some gold-fashioned dye in shades to this mix. So now you've got pearl, flake, and candy in this mix. You keep stirring that up good and we'll get that out on the base. And we're going to reduce this down, not full reduction. You back off on the reducer. Too much reducer will clog a gravity-fed gun. And that means the product is too thin, the flake sinks to the bottom of the gun, and then it will clog it. Use less reducer. And by the time we get another pass on this, it'll start looking pretty good. I went around this a few times, I think maybe say around four times to get this coverage. It's candy time again with shades. I'm going to put cherry pie candy to shade the edges of this, do a fade out on this base or a burst as they call it. And um, we're going to take our time, go slow with this with cherry pie candy. Also, no longer using Intercoat Clear, we're using Clear now. And that would be our pretty much first or second pass around to get color on there. It's a bit too orangey, so we went with Wino shades and added Wino 
to the mix and, and went over it again with Wino to darken it down for more punch and contrast. This is clear. We're shooting clear now. I got a suit on because of the hardeners, isocyanides. This is DGC 66 R clear. It has excellent UV protection. It's a two to one clear, so it's not super thin. Four to one clears are kind of a lot thinner. And um, that's a first pass. And this is pretty much our finished product. I have about three coats of clear on there. And it's looking pretty good. Here it is, finished product, done deal. All Mark has to do is put strings on this baby and start playing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, give us a call or comments, leave them below, and we hope to see you again soon.